to the front, put the peg the stitch back down, and we're going to knit back to peg number three. Stitch back on the peg. I'm going to knit back to the next double stitches on the peg. Peg number 11, you're going to knit off the two stitches like so. Hold the stitch in your hand or on your hook. Bring the working yarn and kick it in the back just to bring it forward. There we go. You can see that your work is taking shape. You're going to go to peg two and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to knit off the two stitches like so. Take your working yarn, kick it to the back. We're going to go back to peg 12 and knit that off. Peg 11, peg 12, we're going to knit off, oops, okay, we're going to take the working yarn, we're going to kick it to the front and place the stitch back on, we're going to work all the way back to number 1. Peg number one, we're going to knit off the loops. There we go. And kick the yarn to the front behind the peg. There we go. And that is a completion of a heel. You can see that your work was once up and down. Since we created the heel, it's shifted forward. So the, the work has shifted to the right. Okay. Now what we're going to do is continue in the round to complete from the heel to the toe your desired length. We're just going to work the loom like normal around. I'm using the knit stitch. Just keep going round and round and round until you hit the length of the end of your toe. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start binding off the stitches. So we're going to knit the first peg. So we go carry the stitch from number two to number one. We're going to knit off the stitch, bring it back to peg number two. We're going to knit off peg number two. Place the stitch back on peg number two. Take the stitch off peg number three, place it on number two. thread, tail, stick it through the loop, pull it tight. So basically what you end up with is a sock with 
a hole. And what I do is I turn it in the sock the is inside out. What we're going to do now is we're going to take our needle and we're going to weave it in and out around the edge and then we're going to pull on it so we draw it in like a hat and it closes the toe. So let's take some yarn. Create a knot at the end of your tail after you've threaded it in your needle. And we're just going to take our needle and weave it in and out. needles creating holes. Wow, it's hard to pull with this needle. That's all I have right now. See, as you pull it, it starts to gather a bit. It's in and out, weave it in and out. Your stitches. Still weaving it in and out. There we go. So we pulled it together. I usually like to, this is how I create a knot, take my yarn, see where my tail is. We'll just weave it on the right side of it. And then I'll just put my needle through the loop, like so, and create a knot. And I want to fasten off. And I usually with the tail that we had at the end, uh, before we gathered the hem together, I like to knot it together. And then basically, you can weave your ends. Um, through your work with the crochet hook. Turn your work inside out. You have a closed toe. Nice and fastened. And there is your sock, my friends. Completed sock. Okay, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any other requests, let me know. Um, just make sure you make two of these and uh, weave your ends into your project when you're completed with a crochet hook. Okay, take care.